All right, guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is time for a very long, long travel day ahead of us. Yeah. Want to tell us what's the plan for today? Well, this is going to be our longest travel vlog we've ever created. We're going to be going to three countries. We're going to be mm -hmm. taking the bus. Then we're going to be taking an overnight ferry, and mm -hmm. then we're going to be taking another bus. So basically, oh, yeah. yeah, we're heading from. <laughs> first off, we're heading from Budva, Montenegro, yeah. to Dubrovnik, Croatia. By bus, mm -hmm. and that's I think going to be about a three-hour journey. Yeah, and then we're going to be waiting for a few hours and boarding an overnight ferry, mm -hmm. and that's going to be really cool. We've never done that before. We've never I've done an overnight ferry. ferry. No. no. Yeah, so we're going to be going from Dubrovnik, yeah. Croatia, to Bari, Italy, by right. ferry, and it's overnight. It's going to be a ten-hour journey. Yeah. And then once we arrive, we're trying to reach Matera. Yes. Which actually I looked it up yesterday. It's about an hour by bus. Okay. I had said yeah. thirty minutes. It is not thirty minutes. <laughs> uh, we, we haven't. Book tickets for that so we'll be booking no. that bus ticket and kind of winging it but yeah we'll yeah. show you the whole journey we'll talk about the prices and we'll show you what we eat along the way so we're really looking forward to this <laughs> it's gonna be a long vlog so uh, <laughs> buckle up and let's get going let's go well guys our food has arrived. We are eating at, what's the name of this place? <laughs> this place is called Taboo. Yeah. And we ate here when we first arrived in Budva because it was too early to check into our apartment. Yeah. So I got myself some kind of panini with prosciutto, tomato, cheese, lettuce, fries, and Sam got himself a pizza. Yeah, thin, thin crust pizza. Yeah. So. So it looks good. How is it? The fries are good. I haven't yeah. tried the sandwich yet, but it looks nice. Yeah. Covered in sesame seeds. One thing I have to say is, uh, compared to Croatia and Bosnia, the the food that we had in Montenegro was was a pretty pretty big step down <laughs> in terms of uh, in terms of like it just we didn't find that many restaurants that we loved. I think yeah. our best meal was the one we had on that day trip. You mm, remember? Pasta. That's and right. Pas yeah, exactly. Yeah, but this is like. You know, this this place is, I would say, has okay food. Yeah. Uh, okay, good prices, but it's just like international food. It's yeah. Stuff you could find anywhere, like pastas, pizzas, sandwiches, but there's nothing like super local or traditional. Yeah. But it's fine. We need a snack before we get on the bus, so this works. All right. So I ordered one of the specials from the house here. You get it's a five year old deal. You get your tiny little coke. Yeah. And you get your pizza. Um, yeah. Let's try it. Mine was cheaper. I think mine was like four euros mm. fifty, and I have to say, I think mine looks more appetizing than your pizza. Yeah, the pizza's all right. It's passable. Yeah. We win any awards, but um, yeah, we just need some food to fill up before our bus arrives. Exactly. Yeah. Lunch is over. That only came to nine euros total for the entire meal, including drinks. And the best part is we're only like a two or three minute walk away from the bus station and our bus leaves in just about an hour. So it's just the perfect amount of time. We'll go walk over there and hopefully board the bus there. Well, our bus is only about 10 minutes away. So, fingers update. Crossed. Fingers crossed. Time. Yeah, so these are our tickets and we ended up paying 22 euros each. Also, I should mention, we were supposed to leave yesterday, but then halfway through the day we got yeah. an email saying our ferry had been canceled because yeah. of the storm. So then we had to like run to the bus station to try and change our bus tickets. So we had to pay a fine of 2 euros per person in order but to move into the next city. It ended up working out great because the apartment we rented in Budva, we actually rented for 7 days because we got yeah. a discount. So it's the same yeah. price as renting it for six nights. Yeah, so it worked out well. But for everyone who was already like en route to the ferry, you were actually allowed to spend the night there and then leave yeah. today. Yeah, but we decided yeah. to stay at our apartment, obviously. I know, it's like a tiny cabin, <laughs> apartment. Yeah, we exactly. We the whole apartment. Um, but yeah, that's the cost. 22 euros to go from, where are we? Budva, Budva to Dubrovnik. And guys, as a little bonus tip, if you arrive a little bit early at the bus station, Head to the right of the main entrance and you will find bunnies and peacocks. Very cute.
Oh my gosh, guys. Big update needed. Okay. okay. So we went through the border crossing. Uh huh. Um, really easy on the Montenegro side. The Croatian side took quite a bit of time. Yeah. The bus in front of us, wow, it took a really long time. Our bus didn't have as many passengers, but it still took a while. They really thoroughly inspected our bags and whatnot. Yeah, like we had to get off with all yeah. of our luggage and open it up so they yeah. could rummage through our things. But despite. <laughs> The, the long ordeal at, at the border crossing, uh -huh. our, our bus driver had such a lead foot that we actually arrived maybe only like five or ten minutes later than expected. Yeah. And so we got off at the bus station, it was super windy, and so we decided to walk down to the ferry terminal uh -huh. and to pick up our tickets, but the office is closed, we've arrived a bit early, it's going to yeah. open up in actually ten minutes. But... Ooh, our drinks are here. Whoa, 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 he guzzled that. Okay, so the so drinks thirsty. are here. <laughs> Oh, wait, where did I last leave off? Um, you were talking, we arrived here. Oh yeah, the office right. is closed. Office are, is right, closed. That's right. So the ticket office was closed. Oh, it's opening in 10 minutes, but we're hungry, so we're gonna uh -huh. go eat. And yeah, it was a little bit tricky to find a restaurant. We had to walk around for a while, but yeah. we finally found a pizzeria joint. Uh, so we've ordered a Greek salad and a picante pizza. It should be coming soon. So we put a pretty good dent in the salad. Yeah. Um, yeah, wouldn't win any awards, that's for sure. <laughs> Pretty Sam, meager. Sam just wanted two pizzas. That's what's wrong. Well, it's just this. The salad isn't cheap, so I was expecting something a little better. It's mostly lettuce, a little bit of feta. <laughs> we have destroyed it, to be fair. Anyways, this isn't how it arrived. I, I do hope the pizza is better. Okay, pizza has arrived. Pizza time. So try that. I hope, I hope it's better. Salami, than the salad. bacon, yep. mozza, black olives, and hot Pepper, peppers. Yeah. So. I'm gonna go for the bacon. It's a bacon kind of day. This is steaming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it does look pretty, the pizza looks a lot better than the salad, I gotta say. I hope it's good. Let us know. I haven't tried I any yet. I'm gonna burn myself. Probably. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you guys come here, get the pizzas, not the salad. Especially the bacon. It's okay. all like crispy and Ooh, crackly. yum. I'm gonna like mm. this. I'm hungry. Okay, so full satisfied. The pizza really made up for the salad. I'm Sam was all like, oh, we should order a second pizza, blah, 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 blah. And then a few yeah. slices and he's like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to be it able was, to finish it. It was quite thick. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, it was a lot more filling than I was expecting. Lots yeah. of cheese. So it just came to over 20 euros for the pizza, the salad, and a one liter sparkling water, which mm -hmm. we finished. So yeah, that hit the spot, that is dinner for us. And now it's time to go collect our tickets and wait to board the ferry. Yeah. Okay, Sam, update us. You ran to the supermarket. I ran to the supermarket and... And what did you get for us? I put a little surprise in the suitcase and I will show you what that is once we get on the ferry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> really. Really. Don't tell anyone, but yesterday Sam ate half a kilo of fresh cheese and now he keeps running to the bathroom and he's also sticking up the whole bus terminal. All right, you guys ready for this? Found our room. 11 come on in doo -doo 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 -doo. this is where we're spending the night um, it's just the two of us there's yep. enough space for three people but it's, it's just gonna be us I was thinking for a uh, private cabin. I, I was thinking I was gonna have to sleep on the top bunk but we actually have, no, we have, we have a little bit here a little bit there we do. Oh, we have a window. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I thought we were going to be like underground, you know, feeling awesome. like the Titanic or something. Yeah, and we haven't quite left yet. We've boarded nice and early. Yeah, cool. All right. So we've got a fun little map here yeah, so we, we know where we are. So we're obviously on the fifth floor. Um, there looks like there's some shopping places here. Shopping. Information, cash exchange. Uh, above that would be a restaurant. Ooh. So yeah, look, we're going to check it out. It doesn't appear to be that many people on this ferry. So that's, we're going to have like, I think some whole sections to ourselves. Okay guys, so if you pay for your base ticket, this is the section where you would travel. Like there's no additional fee for traveling here. But everyone says, don't do it because the seats don't recline and you've got these fluorescent lights in your face <laughs> the whole night and it's an overnight journey. I know, but it, th there's a lot of leg room though. Like look, yeah. look at this. If you were to hang out here, it'd be pretty comfortable. Yeah, can you turn it into a bed? No. no. 
yeah, but there's there's no one here. We chose to upgrade because we wanted beds. We want to arrive yeah. in Italy feeling well rested. And what did we pay for us? Just like a hundred euros per ticket? You know what? Let's actually look at the ticket okay. once we're back in the room, so we can give think, you accurate information. I think he was roughly in that ballpark, though. Yeah. We'll give you the we'll give you the right yeah. information later, though. Ta -da. So before I forget, let's talk about the price for the cabin we paid. So this was 1,308 kuna, which would be 204 US dollars. So 102 US per person. Oh, it was, ch it was cheaper than I thought. And look, the cool thing, aside from getting this room, we also get breakfast vouchers. Show us those. Yes. Do you have those, those on you? Oh, they're oh, right. Let's <laughs> hope I haven't lost them. Oh my gosh. They're just like little paper. Are coupons. you serious? You lost them? No, they're they're in here somewhere. Oh here, gosh. look. That would be, that, so would, that would make me be like so sad. For breakfast, and it's gonna be served from six thirty to eight. Is that what you said? I guess because yeah, we're probably gonna arrive. be pulling in around eight eight thirty ish. So yeah. I guess we'll be waking up. I think what we're gonna do is eventually we're gonna go to sleep soon. Mm -hmm. It's pitch black outside and we're gonna try to wake up really early for sunrise. Hopefully yes. there is a nice one. Yeah. And we're gonna go out, we, we checked it out, we can go on the deck mm -hmm. and we should be able to get some awesome shots as we're approaching yeah. Italy. That's the goal. And we should also mention there's like a few different room types. So you can get a private one like we did or yeah. you can get a shared one where it fits four people but you don't know who you're gonna be matched up with. Um, they have rooms with like a, a toilet inside. Yeah. Um, they have rooms where it's just a little sink, and then yeah, you have to like, like walk out to the hall. But I mean, like the toilets. Just toilets are nearby, stuff. and they're they're fine. Um, uh, so yeah. It, it, it's 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 a lot fancier of a ferry than I was expecting. Um, really, I think it's a lot more dated than I was. But expecting. But there's there there was, there was someone to check us in, and like we okay, have our own yeah. we have our own room, and we have our own key. There's a bar. There's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. There's lots of places to hang out. There's lots of tables. So I think mm -hmm. it's it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna be spending most of the time sleeping, but yes. Yeah. All right, so while we were at the bus terminal, Sam wandered off to the supermarket. I found the Kozum supermarket and... This is a surprise. Check out what I got. Wine, the surprise. Wine to help us, you know, sleep on the boat. You know, one of the very first YouTube channels I ever found, I don't even think it exists anymore, but this guy, this guy created a channel or a brand. It was something like, wine helps you sleep on trains. Feel I'm not even, Yeah, I'm not even kidding. But I just remember that today. I'm like, you know what? I think if we have a little bit of red wine before we go to sleep, it'll be really nice. And one of my all-time favorite chocolates after eating. And that box is already half empty. Yeah, Let's that, admit that, it. This. Already half empty. Somebody got into them at the station. Well, you had some too. But when we, were two. when we were trying to decide between which like um, wine from the Balkans we should get, there was like... When you were trying to decide, you went That's by true. yourself. I did go by myself. And there was also Blatina. So we ended up going with the one from Molstar. So. Yeah, that was a good wine. I remember this yeah, one. Yeah, it is a really good wine. And we will enjoy this. And this is going to be great. Our own room. We should have a really good sleep. And when we wake up, sunset. Sunset? Sunrise. Sunrise. <laughs> I think someone's already gotten into the wine, maybe. I haven't. That's a sad thing. <laughs> Well, good morning, good morning world. I have just woken up. Um, yeah, they just came knocking on all the doors announcing that breakfast is ready. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I slept so-so. The waves were pretty big, so I could kind of feel the boat just like rising and falling and rising and falling all night long. It was smoother in certain stretches, but yeah, you could still feel it. it it's a bit scary to be honest, um, but yeah, we're gonna go eat breakfast because we're gonna be arriving in Bari, Italy at 8 in the morning, which is not that long from now, so let's go eat. This is wibbly wobbly. Come on. <laughs> what are you grabbing? Some eggs, some cheese, bread and jam. Those look good. It's like a buffet style. Okay, okay. 
All right, so starting off with coffee. Coffee? And a slice of cheese, a little bit of egg, and some honey and bread. And I can't, I have to admit, I'm not super starving. It is only 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, we normally don't eat this yeah. early. But uh, this <laughs> this will do for sure. Yeah. This and I mean, they, they had quite a bit for breakfast. There was also muesli, cereal, yogurt, boiled eggs. We just went for something light. Yeah, that's true. I may get some more. Yeah. Update. We've made it to Italy. We're in Italy. I just gained 10 pounds thinking about all the food I'm eating. <laughs> Anyways, that was a really good trip. I really like being out on the water. Uh huh. But compared to flying, I just find it soothing being out on the sea. I had a really good sleep. I actually feel kind of refreshed. Like I don't feel like this has been one continuous journey. It feels like a fresh day today. Yeah. And we only have like a one hour bus ride, so that's fantastic. So long story short, we ended up at the wrong place, but no worries because we found a train station yeah, that is well, going to take us. What we ended us. up doing is kind of following the herd. We took the bus number 20, which is just right outside of the, the, the ferry, ferry terminal. terminal. Yeah, that brought us to the train station. We got a little bit confused, but eventually we found, I think it's called the, is it the FAL? Yeah, the FAL, FAL line. It's a local train and these are only for 90 euros. Yeah. It's going to take an hour and a half to get to Matera. Our train is going to be leaving uh, at 10. Yeah. So we have about 15, 20 minutes to wait. Yeah. Finally arrived. Oh my gosh, that was actually a pretty tiring journey, even though yeah. we mostly slept overnight and on the train. But we're here at long last. We're 15 minutes early, so we're gonna be meeting our host in front of this bar and then yeah. walking to her place. And so, yeah. first impressions of Matera it looks That's pretty beautiful. stunning. So we are finally all settled into our Airbnb and I have to say it's even better than what it looked like in photos. Yeah. Um, we chose a place that's kind of like a cave-like structure um, because yeah, the type of construction is really popular in Matera. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna save the tour for another day so we can yeah, really this, show this, you. This place is definitely cool enough to do a full yeah. tour, so we'll do just that. Right now we've got food on our minds, so... Yes, we need lunch. <laughs> we really do. So we'll take you out for food, show you a little bit of the town, and then I think we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it a video. <laughs> yeah. All for right? Sure. For sure, for sure. We found a place. We found With a place. little bit of a view. <laughs> Check that out, guys. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And we were going to order pizzas, but they're not available for lunch, so we're going for pasta. Local pastas. Local pastas, yeah. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, so our pastas are here. They're amazing. We've already tried both of them. <laughs> so, let's start Can't with wait. Sam's. We both ordered traditional pastas. I think yours is strachinate. Yeah. Which came with sausage, breadcrumbs, and pepper. It's so, so good. Oh yeah, my gosh. That it really is. That sausage is so flavorful. Yeah. And then I got the one that was called, which one did I get? Oh yeah, I got cavatelli, which comes with onions and bacon from the black pig. And these like little beans. Try it. It's good. And this is, mm. this is unique to here. Like this, def this definitely isn't something we've never tried before. But yours, oh boy, with the sausage. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I love that. That's the best. I would come back here. Mm -hmm. And eat the same thing again. Yep. 